The dancing body records the history of a nation and the permeating music tells the past of our homeland. Dance is connected to history and steps ahead with the world. In the spring of 2003, a folk dance drama, Dynamic Yunnan, was staged and received warm response from the audience. The dance originated from local ethnic dancers in Yunnan province in the southwest of China. Most of the dancers were local farmers who had received no professional training. Directed by renowned dancer Yang Li Ping, the dance presented the audience with Chinese folk dances that are on the verge of distinction and portrayed ancient Chinese people's belief of the sun and the moon. The ox hide drum is beaten and the peacock returns in beautiful steps. Time comes to a stop. The rhythmic movements of body and limbs take the audience into a fantastic dreamland. but our human body remains nearly unchanged, although thousands of years have passed. Chinese dance has also made dazzling miracles. It has combined body and the soul, as well as the society and individual personalities. Dance in the primitive society was dynamic and unrestrained. In the 10th century BC, dance was designed to educate people. Folk dances thrived from the 1st century to the 6th century. After that came dance music. And by the 15th century, dance was part of drama performance. The art of Chinese dance traces its origins to even before the appearance of the first written Chinese characters. Ceramic pots have been unearthed in Datong County of the western Chinese province of Qinghai that depict colourful dancing figures. A study of these archaeological artefacts reveals that people of the 4th millennium BC already had group dances in which the participants locked arms and stamped their feet while singing to instrumental accompaniment. These relics not only recorded a history, but also left us with lots of imagination.
Dunhuang is a stop on the famous Silk Road, which linked China with Central Asia and the West. Dunhuang Grottoes, located 25 kilometers southeast of Dunhuang City, and known for the caves, frescoes and sculptures, recorded people's life in the most prosperous times of ancient China. Now the Mogwa Caves are the symbol of Oriental culture. In 1979, after studying the sculptures and frescoes, the Gansu Provincial Dance Troupe created a series of classical dancing movements, such as bending feet and wriggling the waist. It is from the Dunhuang frescoes that artists have drawn inspiration to create the grand dance drama, The Silk Road, and turned it to be a completely new dancing faction, the Dunhuang Dance. For the first time, it turned dancers painted on the frescoes into reality and portrayed the flourishing ages of the Tang Dynasty. In 1990, the Lanjiao Dance and Song Ensemble produced another dance drama, Dunhuang Dreams, which is a companion show of The Silk Road. In the show, dancers are like fairies from the heaven, flying in the sky without any worries and in long skirts and colourful ribbons. The dance of flying Apsaurus can best represent the essence of Chinese dance in the Tang Dynasty when it reached its peak. Like everything else, dance in the Tang Dynasty flourished. was no longer something only for the royal court or something that was used to accompany acrobatics or singing. It had become an independent art. Folk dancers also thrived. Targe, or dancing and singing, was the most popular folk dance at that time. Dancers locked their arms and stamped their feet while singing. Descriptions of dance form can be found in poems, such as Li Bai, which was about a man who was to board a boat when he heard the Targe on the bank.
Emperor Xuanzong of the Tang Dynasty was a good musician himself. He selected 300 musical talents and trained them for royal dance himself. Royal dance was an important part of rituals or banquets in the royal courts of every dynasty. It was extremely grand with many people dancing at the same time. The most famous royal dance of the Tang Dynasty was the rainbow and feather gown dance. Tang Xuanzong contributed a lot of suggestions to the dance, and his concubine, Yang Guifei, was the key dancer. Their tragedy love story is widely known. In the middle of the 9th century, metropolitan culture thrived with development of commerce and business. Dance was no longer for the royal court. It had become an entertainment for ordinary people and was included in drama. Swinging sleeves, which is an act in drama plays, it could trace its origin to an ancient dance, the dance of long sleeves. Many other dance acts have also followed the tradition of ancient dancers. Besides, dance props like fans, sleeves, spears and swords are also used in drama plays. Meanwhile, dance was no longer performed on stage only. It had become a folk art. By the 14th century, there was already many folk dance forms, which were widely loved. People danced to express their inside feelings. Different minority groups in China also have their own dancers. Their dancers are an indispensable part of Chinese dance. Due to the cultural and geographical differences, their dances also vary. In the mountain areas in southwest China, people dance to show their love of the beautiful forest where they are living. big 
rituals, they sing and dance to commemorate their great ancestors and pray for harvest. The Dai ethnic people are best at this dance. Dancers carry a drum that looks like the foot of an elephant. Whenever there is a drum competition, young men will come from different villages to dance together. The sky is blue, the land is boundless. Grass lowers their heads when wind blows, and cattle come into view. This ancient song paints a beautiful picture of the grassland. Songs and dances are about horses, and they are the most popular there. Horses are the most loyal friends of people living on the grassland. Herdsmen use their body language to express their love of horses. The most beautiful one was the Mongolian, Sawu Odang. When music comes up, dancers will imitate horses and dance to the joyful drum beats. They move their arms, shoulders and upper part of the body to tell people what riding on the grassland is like.少数民族喜欢用这种自然界的这种真实的这种很美的东西来象征他们的某一种情感他在形容比如说像这个女孩子像孔雀一样的美丽或者这个男的像雄鹰一样的矫健勇敢他全部是用这种形容词来形容这种Music permeates the air and flies with eagles. Dancers are everywhere on the grassland and run with horses. Sons of the grassland sing and dance to express their infinite love of their home. The Qinghai Tibetan Plateau is rich in religions. People have prayed from generation to generation. The unique religious culture and the geographical condition have brought about a unique dance, one-sided dance. Dancers extend their arms and legs to the same direction. Because of the rough roads in the mountains, people find it easiest to walk with the arm and leg on one side moving toward the same direction. Later, local people included such steps into dance.
in the vast desert in northwest China, numerous castles indicate the prosperity of the Silk Road, and camel bells remind people of the music of ancient western nations. Their dances were also spread eastward through the Silk Road and pushed the development of the Tang Dynasty's dance. Even now, people are still following the tradition of the western religions and create a lot of dance forms. Seinemu is a typical example. It doesn't have a set form. The number of dancers can be only one or two or a group. The dancers can make any movements with the music as they want. People dance Seinemu on all the big days. China is a nation of many different nationalities. Folk dance is the essence of Chinese dance. People of all nationalities showcase their cultures and customs with their dances. In thousands of years of culture exchanges, dances of different ethnic groups have influenced and enriched each other and formed the integrated Chinese dance. In the 20th century, however, ancient Chinese dance was gradually replaced by drama. Very few dance forms existed independently. Western dancers began to influence China and facilitate the establishment of modern Chinese dance system. In 1890, an imperial female dancer performed ballet for the Empress Dowaga Tsurshi in a hall in the Summer Palace. The dancer's name was Yu Rongling. She was China's first ballet dancer. Yu Rongling was daughter of a diplomat of the Qing dynasty. She spent her childhood traveling with her father around the world and was once a student of American dancer Isadora Duncan. After Yu Rongling, Dai Eilian was another important figure in Chinese dance history. She is in her 80s now, but still travels around the world for international art exchanges. It is their continuous efforts that help Chinese dance regain its life. Ballet, as a Western dance form, has set its foot on Chinese soil. Ballets like the Red Detachment of Women and the White Hair Girl are classical. Traditional Chinese dance and folk dance have also seen their renaissance. New traditional dance, like a young core dancer and the soul of a peacock have been created. Kong 
因为因为在民间里头吧，那个孔雀舞是雄性的会开屏嘛，但是我们觉得在舞台上，女性来表现它比较柔美。More and more Chinese people like modern dance, which features vigor and individualities. In 2000, dancer Wu Junyan won the gold prize in the international dance competition in Paris for her modern dance, Maybe You Want to Fly. In the fall of 2000, Chinese youth dancer Huang Doudo brought his dance drama to London and received a warm welcome. The heart-shaking music brought audiences back to China's Qing Dynasty 2,000 years ago. Audiences could feel the ambition of the Qing Dynasty to unify the war-torn nation. China had its first emperor at that time. Even now, after thousands of years, people still marvel at the Great Wall and the Qing terracotta warriors left by the first emperor. Chinese dance has surpassed the border and the history. We can feel the soul of an ancient nation, and the whole world can feel the mysterious oriental culture. 